The guys welcoming Detroit Mercy to the Stroh Center today, looking to notch their fourth straight victory at home. Playing from behind early, Dylan Fry rattles it in for three, one of his four triples in the contest. BG trails by as much as nine in the first half, but once again, Fry steals the show, pops it in for the deuce. He'd finished with a career-high 18 points. And check this out, technical difficulties with the basket before the break has the crew changing out the hoops at halftime. Back to the action, freshman on fire in this one, Roderick Caldwell sinks the tray. The guard out of Dayton racks up 13 on the day. BG up by 10. Nice little give and go here. DiMaggio Wiggins hits from underneath and one on the play. Bowling Green rallies to finish on top 74-61. Brandon Arroyo in Falcons country for the contest. Well, the Stroh Center got off to a little bit of a slow start this evening, we'll say. However, a rejuvenated group of freshmen really took the reins today as two underclassmen finishing in double digits today, one of them the leading scorer on the entire Bowling Green team. Started uh, Roger Caldwell and Dylan Fry, and they brought the energy that we needed, which was missing, and they played pretty much the whole second half, and that was the difference in the game for us. I mean, I think we know what we can do. We just have to come out every time, just bring our energy, play defense, get stops, and, and don't let offensive rebounds and everything will come to us. It feels good. I, I know my talents. I know what I can do. I just try. Every time I get in, I bring energy. I play defense as hard as I can, and I just try to do everything I can. It's the same lineup unless it has to be a consistent thing. If it happens one time, it can happen. It can happen a game where you don't bring the energy, but that doesn't mean that takes you out of the starting lineup. It means you're going to play less minutes, yes. Now that may happen, but I'm not changing the lineup at this point. And that decision makes sense to not change the lineup just quite yet, but more performances like that are certainly a very encouraging sign for the future of this Falcons team, especially when those underclassmen coming in performing so well at such a young age. Well, that's all we have for right now from the Stroh Center. I'm Brandon Arroyo. Back to you in the studio.